Chapter 8 Tens and Ones. Now let's learn to break up numbers. Let me explain what number breakup means through an example. So, how would we break up number 57? 57 is nothing but 57 equals 50 plus 7. So, 50 plus 7 equals 57. So, here, the name of the number 57 gives us the clue. Now, how about 83? So, here again, the name of the number 83 gives us a hint that 83 equals 80 plus 3. But not all number names would suggest the number breakup. For example, 15. Now the number name 15 doesn't give you any clue on how to break up the number. And so do the numbers 11, 12, 13, through 19. Now we see 15 here equals 10 plus 5. 11 equals 10 plus 1. 12 equals 10 plus 2, and so on. And finally, 19 equals 10 plus 9. And 20 equals... Of course, 20 equals two tens. So we have a zero in the ones place, which means we have nothing in the ones place, and we just have two tens. Now, how would, now how would I pay someone rupees 20? We just pay him two 10 rupee notes. Okay, let's do a different exercise. I'm gonna draw you a bunch of 10 grapes here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If I have fourteen pieces of grapes with me, how many bunches and how many single grapes do I have? We know that fourteen is nothing but ten plus four. And we know that this bunch of grapes here is a bunch of ten. So I have a bunch plus one, two, three, and four. That's four single grapes, which would equal 14. Now, if I were to buy exactly 75 pieces of grapes, how many bunches would I have to buy? So we know that 75 is 70 plus five. And we already know that each bunch of grapes has 10 grapes. So for 70 grapes, I would need 7 bunches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What do you think about the remaining 5? I would have to buy 5 single grapes to make it 75. If I have 75, how many more grapes would I need to make it 80? So let me draw and count up to 80. This grape here would be 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So I would need 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I would need 5 more single grapes to make it 80. We have 5 single grapes here and 5 single grapes here. So if you add 5 plus 5 equals 10, which makes another bunch of grapes. So we would have 8 bunches of 10 grapes each, which would give us 80 grapes. Now, if each bunch costs rupees 5, how much would I have to pay for 8 bunches? So let's write this down. So this is the first 5 for the first bunch, the next 5 for the second bunch, the next five for the third bunch, the next five for the fourth bunch, the next five for the fifth bunch, and the next five for the sixth bunch, and another five for the seventh bunch, the last five for the eighth bunch. So let's add this up now. We have five plus five, which gives us ten. 
And if we add another 5 to that, we would get 15. And if you add another 5 to that, we would get 20. Another 5, we would get 25. And adding another 5 to that, we would get 30. Add another 5, 35. Add another 5, and we get 40. So that means 8 bunches would cost us, you're right, rupees 40.